everybody. Um, so, petite boy Mickey here. Uh, <laughs> and I would like to say happy birthday to our dear friend Sharon. We miss her very much. She's on some wonderful cruise right now, lucky girl. Um, but uh, happy, happy birthday, Sharon. I hope you have a great day wherever you are. And Mickey misses you as well. And uh, oh my goodness. Oh, what are we going to do with you? Uh, and here are some beautiful books that Sharon gave me over the past year. Shiny silver. Whew. Um, this guy is a Manx. This is a Manx breed, and he's also very, very furry and, and sheds a lot of fur everywhere. However, he's a very, very friendly cat, so he's worth all the hassle and the weight. So, here's another book from Sharon, and I've been very busy filling it up. And here's another beautiful book. She's a sweetheart and always sends me nice gifts in the mail. So I think Mickey and I have to go down and make some envelopes as we promised. We're going to show you how to make your own beautiful handmade envelopes just with um, eight and a half by 11 inch paper. See you later. Here are some beautiful handmade envelopes and with some of them I used um, bought paper. Look at this. Nice fish, and I put little uh, glue gun drops here of hot glue to make it look like a bubble. And, um, you know, use your imagination, and you can sew along the edges instead of glue. And embellish the top of the envelope. Here's a little ribbon rose. Some paper flowers. And in some cases, I used um, old paintings, pieces that, that looked quite nice, but the whole painting didn't work. So I love recycling things. So here's an envelope I made. And it's a great um, way to store oh, receipts or, or, you know, give away as gifts. Um, here's some more recycled paintings. And then I also bought, uh, a long time ago, I bought this envelope craft punch and it makes really teeny tiny little envelopes that you can use for craft projects, scrapbooks, journals um, not for the real mail <laughs> too tiny would get lost somewhere here I use some recycled paintings it's lots of fun it's a great little thing to do when you know, when you want to be creative but don't have a lot of time. These envelopes are slightly larger than the other ones. Um, and I used, again, some papers from magazines and from scrapbook uh, stores. And I store my paintings, my small paintings, inside. These are actually uh, tags. Cool, I forgot I had these. And I marbled them, my own marbling technique. Um, and uh, use some interesting uh, decoration. Here's a recycled painting, and I use a craft punch to add a little extra design in there. See that? Again, I've stored the small paintings that I have in here, because I have uh, hundreds and hundreds of paintings. Um, and I never really know where to put them and how to keep track of them, so I've made envelopes, and I number them so that I know what the heck is going on. Um, here's a few more. I love all paper crafts. I have a great uh, passion for paper, and I'm not sure why. And here are some larger ones, even. Um, and I store uh, eight and a half by five inch paintings in here. 
So once you know how to make these, which I'll show you in a few minutes, then you can create any design you want. Here's another larger one. Number 1,576. That's how many sketchbooks and envelopes I have and packages. And that's just the small paintings. Okay. Here's a nice one. I like this one. stamps on it and made it look like a real envelope. It's this. And here we have the fish again. I love fish. I love the ocean. love being near the ocean. And here's some more paintings inside. Oops, upside down. Okay, so I will show you how to make these. Okay, all you need for this project is a bone folder to score your paper and some double-sided tape or um, a glue gun and sheets of paper, decorative paper, anything you like, 8.5 by 11 or any shape that you want. Here's some handmade paper um, because the rules apply to any size, it doesn't really matter. And here's a bit smaller. Okay, today we'll make this uh, beautiful envelope with embellishment and some Velcro. So, it's very quick and easy and I would suggest that you have a template made with um, printer paper and all you do is draw lines um, and divide it into thirds and then use this to create the lines in your, uh, on your paper. And just with a little pencil mark Make the marks at the top and the bottom. And then use a ruler and your bone folder and score along the two pencil marks. Make a nice scored line where you will then fold the paper. Alright, fold the paper along the line that you just created and use your bone folder to Make a nice crease and now fold the top as well and fold along with your bone folder. There you have it. Wasn't that easy? So uh, yeah, divide into thirds but make sure that the third part here is a little bit shorter than these two so it's not quite thirds. You can experiment a little bit um, because you want a little bit of a leftover portion here. And if you want, you can uh, cut this at a diagonal, make a triangle. Depends what you're going to do. And here I have this border, so I didn't want to cut the border off. Now, just with a little bit of glue or your double-sided tape, put a little line of glue here. Another one on the other side. And there we go. Envelope made. You can leave it like this or you can embellish it. And it depends how many you're making and for what reason. And uh, I like to use a little Velcro uh, with a little bit of glue just to make sure that it's fastened properly and never comes off. Okay, and I'll line the next piece so that it's in the right location. Go right there. There. How cool is that? Now you can add embellishments here. Little, I've got a little mini envelope that I made with those with that craft punch. This is an antique map. So I think I'll put a little miniature envelope here. But you can always use um, flower or a tag. Depends on if this thing is going in the mail. If it's going in the mail, then I wouldn't bother with any embellishments. But if it's some a present or something, then or something you're going to keep there. Hope you enjoy. I hope you make some. Have a great day.